when we last left morbidly obese cat-like thing Delucky, he and his pals were shilling various beverages and playing baseball, and making puns about high C, which is something I had not experienced since the untimely demise of Ecto Cooler. Which is ridiculous, as that stuff was around for like a decade after the Ghostbusters cartoon was relevant. However, perhaps in response to criticisms that their sprite might have been laced with performance-enhancing carbonation, they've lost their corporate sponsorship, contracted the league by half, and taken up soccer. That's the bad news. The good news is it's still a good game, with just enough absurdity to be lighthearted and refreshing while not skimping on the actual gameplay. Let's be clear here, don't expect FIFA-level execution and precision from the dogs and... Um, bears running around on the pitch here. You're setting yourself up for disappointment. But if you're willing to put that aside, what you'll find is a much more frantic, arcadey experience along the lines of a Mega Man Soccer or a Nintendo World Cup. Just with animals. You can picture some horrifying Kunio Kun Teddy Ursa hybrid here, I'll wait. Done? Cool. Unfortunately, while there's a tour mode and an option for direct head to head play, the RPG ish team building of Dolaki no Kusayaku is nowhere to be found. And while your team members are named, it's mostly just a copy and paste job without giving each unit distinct stats. Cuts down on the strategic aspect, cuts to the bone like beautiful bro's fists, but also makes it much easier to pick up and get right into. To that end, there's only a handful of buttons that direct all the chaos. Jump, shoot slash tackle, pass, change passing target, and overdrive. <laughs> Yes, because it wouldn't be a real abomination in the eyes of sports fans everywhere unless there was some over-the-top, goalie-immolating, net-torching madness to be had. Over the course of the game, your overdrive bar at the bottom of the screen will charge, eventually allowing your side to put on a burst of speed and pull out the stops. And that leads to a celebratory, expertly choreographed dance number at midfield, of course. But for all the insanity, penalties are still enforced, even if, like me, you much prefer the Nintendo World Cup method of just mangle them till they don't get up. Can't really get away with that here, as that mouse what serves as referee will award free kicks and penalty kicks and whatnot, and you're probably going to get beaten because your goalie is a bear and they're not known for their goaltending acumen. They're known for sleeping in caves and stealing picnic baskets. Bears are not to be trusted. 